guys, Elizabeth here from Plant Based Bride, and today I'm going to be doing my August favorites. So there's a lot of things that I've been loving this month, and I just wanted to pick a couple things from different categories to share with you guys. Of course, everything is always 100% vegan and cruelty-free, so no need to worry about that. And let's just get started. So my first favorite in the month of August is my new watch. It's from y -Beans. I'll link it below. It's their Activité Steel. I'll do it close up so you guys can see. But what I love about it is not only that it's all black, which of course you guys know I love, but it's an analog watch that is similar to a Fitbit, for example. So it actually tracks your activity, not just your steps like a pedometer, but also swimming, um, running, other types of activities can be recorded on it, but it actually shows your activity by an analog dial instead of um, a digital marker and I just think it's so much more attractive it looks a lot more classic and can end up looking a lot more appropriate for more formal occasions because it's analog and not digital but it's great to see just with a quick look how many steps I've taken a day sort of how much activity I've had and then there's a corresponding app that can track your sleep and I find looking at the sleep tracker to be particularly interesting and that's something that really drew me to it was that it can show you how many hours you're in light sleep in deep sleep how many hours you slept in total how long it took you to fall asleep and as someone who's dealt with sleep issues for my entire life i find that information really useful and really interesting um, in my quest to improve my sleep so i think this watch is really awesome you can get it with a white or a black face and it comes with lots of different types of bands they do offer leather bands so just so you're aware for food favorites, I found two new awesome cheeses this month. I'm sure many of you have tried these. One is from Miyoko's Kitchen, and the other one is from Wood and Water Foods. So Miyoko's Kitchen, as of right now, from what I know, you can't purchase in store in Canada, but you can get it online. When I was in Atlanta for my training for the Ethical Choices program last month, they had some Miyoko's cheeses there, and oh my goodness, they were delicious. My favorite by far was the Mount Vesuvius Black Ash Cheese. Oh my goodness, it was amazing, it was so delicious. So if you have a chance to try some of Miyoko's cheeses, definitely do it. And if ever someone is telling you that they can't go vegan because of cheese, just have them try this Miyoko's cheese or the next one I'm about to mention because oh my goodness, as a former cheese aholic and cheese lover, they're incredible. You don't need to hurt cows to have amazing cheese. It's just the way it is now and it's a great age to be a vegan. So the other cheese is the Tree Nut Cheese Sharp and Smoky from Wood and Water Foods. And that one's another really delicious cheese. It has a bit of a different type of taste. It definitely does have that kind of smoky taste to it, which is really interesting. And this one I was able to purchase in a small grocery store, like a health food store in Toronto. So this one's definitely available in Canada to pick up, so you may be able to find it around the city. Another favorite for this month is my Black Choker. I got this on Etsy for maybe two dollars and fifty cents or five dollars or something like that if i can find the exact seller i'll link that information below but this is just really an easy thing to throw on with any outfit it makes my looks a little bit more edgy adds a little something to my outfits especially because i do dress so minimally i find sometimes i go a bit too far and my outfit just kind of looks bland so i find that just adding a choker it's super comfortable and it's very much fits my aesthetic it's very simple just black but it really adds something, I think. And you can kind of see that in my fall capsule wardrobe lookbook, which I'll link below for you guys to watch. In that one, I just threw this on with some of the outfits and I think it really adds something to them. So I've been really loving just a plain black choker. My favorite clothing piece this month is my black dress from Aritzia. I will insert a clip here of me wearing it. This dress is just incredible. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so beautiful. Despite the fact that it has a very low V and it's a bit more slim fitting, I really don't think that it's too risque for pretty much any situation. It's much longer, so it shows barely any of your legs. Even though it's tight, it's not sort of skin tight showing every single little bit. It's long sleeve, so you don't even see your arms. But I love that that deep V shows off my tattoo. Of course, I'm so excited about having my first tattoo. and. I like to be able to show it off and I just think this dress is so flattering and classy and just really beautiful. So for makeup favorites, as you guys know, I'm very, very close to my wedding. I'm filming this 
on the day it's going to go up. So I'm six days away from my wedding and I've been doing a lot of makeup looks to try out what I'm going to be doing for my wedding and the lipstick combination I have decided on for my wedding and two products I've been loving, loving, loving so much are the ColourPop Lippy Sticks Lipstick in Brink. Um, it's a matte lipstick and then the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Laguna Beach on top. And this combination, they're such a similar color already, but I just find they give such a beautiful look. It's very natural, but obviously um, enhances your lips a little bit more. I just think it's such a beautiful, beautiful combination. And both of them on their own are also gorgeous. So if you get a chance to try either of them out, I very highly recommend them. And another favorite is the House of Lashes Mini Lashes. So I got a couple of those to try out. And right now I'm wearing the Siren Minis. I think that these are incredible as someone with smaller eyes I really appreciate the smaller lash in the width but they're also a touch shorter which I also appreciate just because I find that full-size lashes sometimes just come off far far too unnatural looking even with these that are narrower I might end up trimming them a little bit just to make a application a little easier and apply some individual lashes around them for my wedding but I really love the look of these ones in particular and I think all of the mini lashes are a really awesome addition for those of us with smaller eyes who just are so sick of cutting all their lashes in half just so we can wear them. So my last favorites for this month are my three Matt and Nat bags for my birthday this year. My wonderful fiance bought me a Matt and Nat backpack and my family, my parents and my sister bought me a Matt and Nat sort of briefcase. And those in addition to my parable bag, which I have from my birthday last year, along with my chubby wallet, I'm just obsessed with Matt and Nat. I think their bags are such high quality. I love what they stand for, that they're a completely ethical vegan brand, that their lining is made of recycled plastic bottles. Everything about how they've built their company and the aesthetic of their products, I just adore. So I'm gonna show you guys my new backpack and my briefcase. I'll link the video below where I show my parable bags, so you can see it. And I also have a blog post doing a review on the bag and the wallet if you're interested in seeing those as well. But I really wanted to show you my two new favorite bags in my collection from my birthday this year. So the first one is this backpack. It's the Dean backpack. It's very squared off, very geometric looking, which I love. It's in their black vegan leather. And it has one large pocket, which has this sort of rectangular opening. It has a zipper pocket in the front, which is where I like to keep my keys. And then two open pockets on the sides where you can slide in a water bottle or your coffee mug or whatnot. I think the design of it is really gorgeous. I love the aesthetic of it. It's very simple, very minimal. The size is incredible. I've been doing research on their backpacks to try to see which one would actually be able to hold the amount of things that I carry with me on a regular basis. And this one's great. It's huge. It can fit my laptop in the laptop bag at the back. Um, it also has a little zippered pocket in the front for storing anything you want to keep um, separate, but I can fit my water bottle, my coffee mug, a big Tupperware full of my lunch, my wallet, my planner, um, my charger, my deodorant, my laptop, everything all fits in there together and I can actually stuff quite a bit in there, which I think is awesome. I just think this backpack is gorgeous and so practical and I'm so glad that my fiance got it for me. I've been looking forward to this bag for such a long time and I've been loving using it pretty much every single day. And my last favorite is my new Tacoma briefcase from Matt and Nat. It's the largest size in the black vegan leather. And this bag is just gorgeous. It is huge. Um, probably most people won't require a bag quite this large, but I definitely do. Um, I wanted this one specifically for going to do presentations, as I've mentioned sort of briefly in other videos and posts. I've started working with the Ethical Choices Program as a humane educator, and we do presentations in schools, universities, colleges, all of those things, as well as high schools and community centers. And I need to bring with me my laptop and my brochures and my lunch and all kinds of other things while still looking professional as I'm you know, on the job and working 
as an educator it's important for me to maintain professionalism at all times and so while my backpack would definitely fit all the things I would need to bring with me I wanted to step it up a notch and have a bag that was reserved for my ethical choices program work that I could leave brochures and my USB with my presentations and all those things in here as a permanent home and it have that as its job and I just think this bag is absolutely perfect for it it's so professional looking it has these top handles as well as a shoulder handle um, it has a huge, huge, huge opening on the inside with a laptop pocket and phone pocket, pen slots, zippered pocket. It also has a pocket that is attached by magnets at the back that also opens up so you can pop things in there that you want to be able to grab it more easily. I just think this bag is so gorgeous and again so incredibly practical and something that my sister mentioned that I hadn't even thought about is that it's a great carry-on bag so it's a great size for throwing in um, you know one change of clothes as a backup and all kinds of things you're going to need on a plane so I really love this bag I think it's so incredibly practical and I love the idea of being able to bring these together on a plane and then being my carry-ons because this one I can throw on my back and then this one I can throw over my shoulder they both hold such a huge amount of things without going over the size limit for carry-ons and I love the idea of having completely ethical and great looking carry-ons that maybe people will ask where I got them and I can share this ethical vegan brand with them. So that's one of the things I really love most about Matt and Nat. It's not only that they fit within my ethics and my morals and that they make beautiful things, um, beautiful high quality products, it's also that I find other people are drawn to their products who aren't necessarily concerned about buying ethical products but they just think that they're so beautiful that they buy them regardless. And a lot of people have asked me where I've purchased them. And when I tell them that it's vegan leather and it's recycled plastic bottles as the inner lining and how ethical and sustainable and eco-friendly the bags are, people get even more excited about it. So I think it's a really interesting addition to your activism to be showing off how incredibly attractive as well as practical and high quality vegan products can be. So that's it for my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your favorites have been over the course of the summer, new vegan products I should try or check out, and I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye! Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss all the new videos I'm coming out with. Be sure to follow me on social media so that we can be friends. And if you really like what I'm doing and want to support me, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. See you guys really soon. Bye.